One of the things I don't normally get to talk about when I'm doing YouTube videos is folder and file structure and namespaces. When I'm doing YouTube videos, typically things are small and it doesn't make sense to have a bunch of folders and a big structure for stuff. So I wanted to do a real quick video giving an example of one way that you can set up your folder structure and your namespaces for your projects. Here I've got a slightly larger than normal project. And again, I wouldn't recommend even considering or looking at a structure like this until you've got maybe 20 or more classes. Before that, just keep it all in one folder and keep it simple, maybe two folders, but don't, don't expand out. Once you start to get bigger though, one of the ways that I've seen and really like to structure things is by functionality or by feature. Here I've got my project open in Writer. You can see it over here in Unity. This is the uh, multiplayer mastery course, the dedicated server project. There's a lot of stuff in here and this is one of the earlier versions that shows some of the stuff, but trying not to be too overwhelming. So you can see here we've got a scripts folder, which is pretty typical. And inside the scripts folder, there are a bunch of other subfolders. Now, most of these folders have pretty straightforward names and you can probably guess what's in there. Some editor scripts in the editor folder, some server specific stuff in the server folder, really server UI components. But the thing that I wanna talk about today is the feature for characters. Characters are kind of a key part of the game. So if I expand it out, you'll see that I actually have subfolders that are actually what I would call the features that are character related. Now, underneath characters, I have an ability subfolder that has all of the ability related scripts and then some UI elements for the abilities. And then I have another one that are the components that go on to the character and then another subfolder for item related scripts. This will handle everything related to inventory and items. Same with a UI and so on. And that when I want to add some other type of effect here, some other type of different system in here, then I could add that right into characters if they're character related. If I want to go adding groups, then I'll add a group folder for our underneath scripts and so on. I also wanted to just talk about the namespaces though, because this folder structure also really tightly matches to the namespaces of my classes. And a lot of time you'll see that most of the code to write doesn't have namespaces. Again, as for example, there's zero value in it, but for a real project where things are bigger, it makes a lot of sense and it helps a lot. So here you see that this is what, just one ability under characters abilities and it's in the characters abilities namespace. That gives it access to everything in the characters namespace automatically. So it's gonna be able to reference everything down there and it keeps things neatly organized so that I know when I'm cross using things from different namespaces, it, it kind of, I have to have a using statement right up the top. And I'll know if I'm doing something that I'm not supposed to, or at least that I, I don't intend to. And if you look here, I've got you know, a UI, abilities.ui for all of the UI elements and so on for the items, equipment slots. Um, the, there's the Nina I'm here, but it's, it's stored off somewhere else. That's why it looks like it's not used. But I hope you get the idea. I just kind of wanted to briefly show one of the ways to split off your code. I know that there are a, a bunch of different ways that people like to write their code. And I said split off, but it's really the, um, the structuring of the folders. I know people like to do it all kinds of different ways, but I really prefer to do it by um, system and then usually subsystem under that. So character is kind of a core system and then got the subsystems under that. I mean, I, I could also be convinced to move items and abilities outside of characters if there was ever a scenario where they were unrelated. So if I decided that items don't necessarily have to be related to characters, then all I would do is take items, drag it out of the characters folder, adjust the namespace so that it's no longer characters.items, but it's namespace items. Nice and simple change. And in fact, I might do that since I have world items. So just something to think about. It's also important to remember you can easily restructure, rearrange these things. Just make sure that you commit to source control first and then rearrange things until it feels and looks good. One of the best parts about having something that's neatly organized, it makes it easier for you to keep adding to it, modifying and changing it. It also makes it easier for other people to come in and look at your stuff if you're working on a team or anything. But mostly for anybody who's working solo, it just makes it easier for you to manage your stuff and not end up with 
duplicate code or messy things or trying to struggle trying to figure out exactly how things work split your stuff up but make sure that it's done logically and also um try to minimize the name length don't have giant names for all of your classes uh we'll maybe talk about that in another video anyway thanks again don't forget to like subscribe and share and if you want to see more of this stuff of course you can check out the courses in the description below or just go to game.courses and i will see you in the uh, next video bye